dive into the shadows of the unknown as we explore artifacts that continue to baffle the greatest minds in science. Picture the enigmatic Voynich manuscript, the intricate Antikythera mechanism, the mysterious Baigong pipes, the controversial Shroud of Turin, and the puzzling Baghdad battery. Each bears a tale steeped in intrigue, a puzzle yet to be solved, a story waiting to be told. So buckle up, fellow explorers. Prepare for a journey into the heart of mystery, where science meets the unexplained. First up, we consider one of the world's most iconic mysteries, the Great Pyramid of Giza. This colossal structure, the oldest and largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex, stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians. Yet the precision of its construction, with its perfectly aligned sides and intricate internal chambers, continues to baffle scientists and archaeologists. How was such a monumental task achievable over 4,000 years ago? Theories about its construction are as varied as they are fascinating. Some propose it was the work of thousands of skilled workers laboring for decades. Others speculate about the involvement of extraterrestrial technology, pointing to the pyramid's precise alignment with celestial bodies and its sophisticated design. Yet despite centuries of exploration and research, the truth remains elusive. A testament to human ingenuity or evidence of extraterrestrial intervention, the Great Pyramid of Giza continues to stand as a monument to the unknown, a riddle written in stone, waiting for its secrets to be unraveled. Next, we have the Voynich Manuscript, a book that remains unreadable despite centuries of effort. This puzzling artifact, named after Wilfred Voynich who procured it in 1910, is a manuscript filled with cryptic texts and strange illustrations that no one has been able to decipher to this day. The Voynich Manuscript is a small book, roughly 235 pages long, and it's written in an unknown language or script. The text flows smoothly, just like a natural language, but its meaning remains elusive. It's not just the language that's bizarre. The illustrations too are a mystery. They depict unusual plants, astrological charts, and oddly, nude women bathing in what appear to be green pools. Various scholars, cryptographers, and codebreakers, including those from both world wars, have tried their hand at cracking its code, all to no avail. Some have theorized that it's a lost natural language, an elaborate code, or even an extraterrestrial message. Others believe it's a clever forgery, an elaborate hoax designed to baffle and intrigue. The radiocarbon dating of the manuscript's parchment to the early 15th century dismisses the hoax theory for some yet the mystery deepens. It's been studied by the world's best cryptographers and linguists. And yet, the Voynich manuscript refuses to reveal its secrets. Could this be an elaborate hoax? Or is it a message from a forgotten civilization? The Voynich manuscript keeps its secrets well. From an undecipherable book, we move to an unexplainable machine, the Antikythera mechanism. In the depths of the Aegean Sea over a century ago, divers stumbled upon a shipwreck that held an enigma of the ancient world. Amidst the remnants of the sunken vessel, they unearthed what seemed like a lump of corroded bronze and wood. Little did they know, they had discovered the world's oldest known analog computer, the Antikythera mechanism. This complex device, dating back to the second century BC, is a marvel of ancient Greek engineering. With over 30 intricate interlocking gears, it is a testament to the technological prowess of the ancients, far surpassing anything else discovered from that era. Yet, the mystery shrouding the Antikythera mechanism is as deep as the sea where it was found. Its purpose and origin have puzzled researchers for decades. Was it a tool used by ancient astronomers to predict celestial events like eclipses and planetary movements? Or was it a navigational instrument for seafaring explorers, charting their course by the stars? Some theorists even propose that the mechanism was part of a grand, ancient Greek tradition of creating complex automata, where art met science in exquisite mechanical creations. But without a user manual or any direct historical references to such a device, these theories remain speculative. The Antikythera mechanism's sophistication is so profound 
that it challenges our timeline of technological advancement. It seems to be a singular artifact, with no predecessors or successors in its complexity, appearing out of nowhere and disappearing just as mysteriously. Yet, the quest to decode the Antikythera mechanism has not been in vain. It has sparked a renewed interest in ancient technology, reminding us that our ancestors were not merely primitive, but capable of extraordinary feats of engineering. In the grand tapestry of human history, the Antikythera mechanism is a fascinating stitch, an anomaly that invites us to rethink, reimagine, and reevaluate our past. An ancient Greek computer or celestial navigation device, the Antikythera mechanism continues to challenge our understanding of ancient technology. Next on our list are the Baigong pipes, a set of mysterious pipes embedded within an ancient pyramid in China. Venture with us to the remote area of Qinghai province where the eerie Mount Baigong hosts a 300-foot-tall pyramid, seemingly out of place in the barren landscape. But the true mystery lies within. The pyramid is riddled with an intricate network of metal pipes, plunging deep into the earth and the nearby Tosan Lake. These are the Baigong pipes, an enigma that has puzzled scientists and researchers for years. The pipes range in size, some as small as a toothpick, others large enough to walk through. Iron-rich sediment forms the bulk of their composition, but what baffles experts is the 30% of the material that remains unidentifiable, even with modern technology. This inexplicable metallurgical composition has led some to speculate that the pipes are not a natural formation, but rather the work of an ancient civilization with advanced knowledge of metallurgy. Theories surrounding their purpose and origin are as varied as they are fascinating. Some suggest that the pipes were part of an ancient water supply system, ingeniously designed to transport water from the lake to the pyramid. However, this theory is challenged by the fact that the pipes are ascending rather than descending, going against the laws of gravity. Others propose an even more intriguing explanation. What if the bygone pipes are remnants of an extraterrestrial civilization? Proponents of this theory argue that the pipe's sophisticated design and inexplicable material composition suggest a technology far beyond what was available to any known ancient human civilization. Despite numerous studies, the origin and purpose of the Baigong pipes remain shrouded in mystery. Their existence challenges our understanding of history and technology, inviting us to question what we think we know about our past. A remnant of an ancient civilization or evidence of extraterrestrial visitors? The Baigong pipes leave us with more questions than answers. Next up we have the Shroud of Turin a cloth that some believe holds the imprint of Jesus Christ. This intriguing piece of linen measures approximately 14 feet by three and a half feet and bears the faint image of a man who appears to have suffered physical trauma in a manner consistent with crucifixion. The shroud's history is as complex as the image it carries. While the earliest documented references to the shroud date back to the 14th century, some argue it was present in earlier periods, concealed for safekeeping. Its journey through Europe, passing through royal hands and surviving fires, adds to its captivating narrative. The authenticity of the Shroud of Turin has been a topic of fierce debate. Many believe it to be the burial cloth of Jesus, citing as evidence the bloodstains and wounds that align with the biblical account of Christ's crucifixion. However, skeptics argue it's a clever medieval forgery, pointing to carbon dating tests from the late 20th century that suggest the Shroud was created between 1260 and 1390. Despite numerous scientific attempts to explain the Shroud, it remains a mystery. Some suggest it's an early form of photography or a chemical reaction, but no theory fully accounts for the Shroud's unique characteristics, a divine relic or a medieval forgery. The Shroud of Turin has divided opinion for centuries. Next, the Baghdad Battery is an artifact that might rewrite the history of electricity Imagine stumbling across a small terracotta jar not even five inches tall with a tube of copper encasing an iron rod inside. Seems simple enough, right? But this is no ordinary jar. This is the Baghdad Battery, discovered in the early 1930s in Iraq, near the ancient city of Sutesiphon. Now what makes this artifact so intriguing? 
Some believe it could have been used as a galvanic cell. That's right, a device capable of generating an electric current. How? By the chemical reaction between the copper, the iron, and an acidic substance that would have been put inside the jar, say, vinegar or lemon juice. But why would ancient people need a battery? Some suggest it might have been used for electroplating, a process of adding a thin layer of gold or silver to an object. If true, this would mean our ancestors had a working knowledge of electricity over 2,000 years ago, long before Benjamin Franklin and his famous kite. However, not everyone is convinced. Skeptics argue that the Baghdad battery could simply be a storage jar and its electrical properties are mere coincidence. An ancient power source or a simple storage jar? The Baghdad battery powers the debate on the technological prowess of our ancestors. Next up are the crystal skulls, beautiful artifacts shrouded in mystery. These fascinating objects were first discovered in the 19th and early 20th centuries, made out of clear or milky white quartz. These skulls are known for their exquisite craftsmanship and their origins are steeped in debate. Some believe they are remnants of ancient Mesoamerican civilizations like the Mayans or Aztecs due to their uncanny resemblance to traditional depictions of skulls in these cultures. However, others argue they are modern forgeries, as no reliable documentation of their discovery exists. The crystal skulls are not just a historical enigma, they are also the center of numerous mystical and paranormal claims. Some claim they possess healing powers, others believe they can facilitate psychic abilities or communication with the spiritual realm. There are even theories that these skulls are not of earthly origin, but rather extraterrestrial, ancient relics or elaborate hoaxes. The crystal skulls continue to mystify, adding another layer to our journey into the world of unexplained artifacts. From the enigmatic crystal skulls, we now move to another perplexing artifact, the dropper stones. These are disc-shaped stones discovered in the mountains of Bayanhar in China during the 1930s. Each stone, about a foot in diameter, has a hole in the center and is etched with an intricate spiral of strange hieroglyphs. These glyphs, as per some researchers, tell an astonishing tale of a spacecraft that crashed into the mountains, piloted by a race of beings called the Dropa. However, the authenticity and interpretation of these stones have been the subject of intense debate. Skeptics argue that no concrete evidence supports the existence of these stones or the alien narrative they supposedly depict. Could these stones be an elaborate hoax? Or could they indeed be ancient records of extraterrestrial visitation? The Dropa stones, like the artifacts we've explored so far, keep us guessing, adding another intriguing chapter to our exploration of the world's unexplained artifacts. Until our next mystery, keep questioning, keep exploring. Moving on from the disputed dropper stones, we reach number two in our list of amazing artifacts which science cannot explain, namely, the Piri Reis map. Created in the early 16th century by the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Reis, this map is a puzzling artifact that challenges our understanding of history. The map, drawn on a piece of gazelle skin parchment, depicts parts of Europe, Africa and the Americas with remarkable accuracy for its time. But the most intriguing aspect of this map is its representation of what seems to be Antarctica, free from ice. This has led to a whirlwind of speculation and debate, since Antarctica was not officially discovered until 1820, and its ice-free state dates back to a geological era millions of years ago. Some theorists suggest the map is evidence of advanced ancient civilizations or even extraterrestrial assistance. Skeptics, however, argue that the supposed depiction of Antarctica could be based on chance or misinterpretation, a map ahead of its time or a misunderstood artifact. The Piri race map navigates us through a sea of questions, adding another layer to our exploration of the world's most intriguing mysteries. Stay curious, keep questioning, and continue exploring. Whilst not truly an artifact, our number mystery which science cannot explain is the Bermuda Triangle. Also known as the Devil's Triangle, this loosely defined region is located in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean, between Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. Over the centuries, 
a number of aircraft and ships have mysteriously disappeared under unexplained circumstances while passing through it. Let's delve into some of the most famous disappearances associated with the Triangle. Who can forget the ill-fated Flight 19, a group of five U.S. Navy torpedo bombers that vanished in the Triangle during a training flight in 1945? Or the SS Cotopaxi, a ship that disappeared in 1925, only to have its wreck discovered nearly a century later? The Bermuda Triangle has sparked countless theories attempting to explain these strange occurrences. Some point towards magnetic anomalies affecting compass readings, others suggest violent underwater currents, and there are those who believe in the existence of extraterrestrial activity. Despite extensive investigations, the Triangle's mysteries remain largely unsolved, leaving room for speculation and wonder. A deadly trap or a misunderstood region? The Bermuda Triangle keeps its secrets well guarded, adding another chapter to our journey through the world's most intriguing mysteries. As we venture into the unknown, remember that the journey is just as important as the destination. Stay tuned as we continue to unravel the unexplained. From unreadable manuscripts to unexplainable machines, these artifacts remind us that the world still holds many mysteries. We've journeyed through the baffling Voynich manuscript, the perplexing Antikythera mechanism, the puzzling Baigong pipes, the enigmatic Shroud of Turin, and the mysterious Baghdad battery. Each artifact, an unending enigma, inviting us to delve deeper, to question more. We'd love to hear your thoughts, your theories. As we continue to probe the unknown, remember, not all mysteries are meant to be solved, but all are meant to be explored. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring.